What is up guys? Happy Sunday. I'm back at it with another tutorial here or basically like my workload what I do in Lightroom. Uh, just before I start, I just want to tell you that I'll do these, uh, I'll do these tutorials um, Monday to Friday. But today I decided to make a bonus episode for you guys. I'm gonna move myself right here. Hope you see me there as well. So this is the before picture and this is what's gonna be looking at uh, when we actually edit it on Lightroom and I hope you like it and let's get it started okay so there we go oops sorry about that let's get it started let's take this off <clears throat> ah, I can't take this off because it's in my screen okay so let's get it started now there we go guys so first thing that we're gonna leave the temperature and the tint as it is I'm not gonna move it I'm not gonna do anything we might move the tint a bit more uh, to zero we're gonna increase the exposure just a bit then we're gonna decrease the highlights, and we're gonna increase the contrast as well. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna decrease the highlights. Just like that, and the shadows as well. So you take the shadows, what about 74 as I can see. 74, <laughs> sorry. Uh, let me just go ahead, and the whites as well, we don't really need that much whites. We just, actually, you know what, I'll just leave it like 12. The black's definitely down. Uh, we need that dramatic look, um, street look. Um, this picture has been leveled and then I of course I prepare my tone curve and now it's the colors we don't have any red so we're not gonna touch the red we do have orange though see that we do have orange so we're gonna increase it we're gonna saturate it a bit because we really need some color here because that's the actual um, that's where I want my like the people that see the photo to focus on and I'm gonna increase the luminance as well actually yeah, I'm gonna increase it like this. 20. We do have some yellow as well, as you can see it from here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just leave it at about 18, and we're gonna decrease the luminance of the yellow because we don't want people to focus on this part of the photo when they see it. And I like it. Like I edit photos because I like it that way. Um, there's no greens at all. So the aqua, uh, there is a bit of aqua. Uh, we're gonna decrease it to about 16 now the blues are important because it's gonna change right here right here as well uh, Blue is always in the photo because of the temperature as well um, We're gonna decrease we're gonna desaturate it like 87 really like a lot and we're gonna basically see see these <clears throat> uh, Like tax and stuff from people we're gonna decrease them because we want them to to be like black and stuff see how dark it looks like it's amazing because it looks it's dark here and it's just amazing like it's so and you can see the person right here which will work on this uh, afterwards with the history brush now the purple you can see how it changes a bit <coughs> what we're gonna do we're gonna decrease it as well we don't really need purple and the magneta too uh, magenta I'm sorry I always call it magneta I don't know why just because of my accent probably <laughs> Uh, just go ahead and highlight. So we're not gonna touch anything here because we really want to leave this shot as natural as possible, but still make it look artsy and street look. So uh, we can enable the <clears throat> profile corrections as I already said. I shoot with Sigma, but I don't really think that's a good idea because I want to leave that, <clears throat> leave this um, dark sides here on the corners. So we're gonna level it up. Uh, I said it was leveled, but it wasn't. So now what we're gonna do, we are gonna <clears throat> use the brush. This is actually a pretty straightforward edit. And now you click all again for those people for the people that haven't watched me before. And we're gonna just mark this area right here. We're gonna decrease it a bit because usually this brush, see what it does? It never takes the um, like the outside of the actual spot that you would like to uh, <clears throat> to emphasize on and then we click all again 
and we're gonna increase the exposure because we want this to be shiny and nice and then the contrast because we want this person to the contrast we're gonna decrease it because we wanted this um, this light coming in and the highlights of course we're gonna increase them we want as much as possible but not so pointy of course like you don't want to point in the people's eyes like oh yeah there's a spot that you can look at it's about just about how you like it the whites <clears throat> I'm gonna decrease them and then I'm gonna decrease the blacks as well actually you know what I'm gonna increase the lights the whites like 12 and I'm gonna keep the blacks at my uh, minus 12 now the clarity we're gonna increase it a bit because we want this to be emphasized on and the sharpness we can sharpen it up for about five to be honest nothing else needs to be changed here just leave it like this <coughs> press enter press enter <coughs> and there we go and now the last part of this photo, the last part of this photo. It's a pretty short edit because it's uh, easy to edit, and I really like, <clears throat> I really like what I did here. So what we're gonna do? We're not gonna, you know, like usually I touch the shadows like this, um, like the fade. This in this photo I'm not gonna touch it because I want to be super uh, sharp. There we go. We're gonna decrease the tone curve a bit. Second point, and then. Increases a bit, just a touch, and now increases because look at the whites, what it does. <laughs> and we're gonna leave this as it is. So, what we're gonna do right now is the last step of our photo. We're gonna take the brush again, we're gonna push all. Let me move myself because I will edit this part right here. What we're gonna do, we are gonna mark this little part right here because we don't need it that much. And see, there was difference in the colors here. Let me just push all, and you'll see it. There was a bit difference here in the colors while increasing the yellow and the orange. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna desaturate it. So it's not that. And see that it's still not desaturated because that's what the automatic, um, like the brush does that automatically because basically thinks that you might ruin the photo if you touch any other colors. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna brush it up as well. Here and we're gonna desaturate it as much as possible um, this this should be fine and guys there you go your street photo is ready look what it was before and there you go it's after so it's a bit lighting up here on the white and you can see how people can focus right in the middle sorry I'm pointing at the screen but you can't see that uh, people can focus right in the middle here with this color I really uh, I personally would change uh, the colors here the to orange so it matches but I'll leave it because there's light over here so it basically changes as the same color as this part because there's light coming in uh, right here just right behind the camera where I was and uh, this part here as well is opened so light comes in and light comes on the other side as well so basically uh, it's a bit lighting up here uh, it does it does might look a bit fictional but to be honest um, I really like this edit so there you go guys this is how you can edit your street shots symmetric shots uh, this is one of them and I'll be keep doing these videos Monday to Friday. See you next time and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Comment below actually if you like the edit or if you have any suggestions on what should I use or uh, what do you personally like about Lightroom and what do you usually use. This edit was pretty simple. Uh, I hope I helped you a lot and have a great day guys. Appreciate you joining in. Thank you.